In this video, I show you how to get around Trust Wall on iPhone being removed. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it. So in the guide, I'm showing you basically a fix to this and an alternative way to go and still be able to use PancakeSwap with Trust Wallet. Uh, so you can use your BNB and stuff like that to go and do trades uh, without the browser. Of course, this is not financial advice, please go and do your own research. I'm not responsible for any losses and I'm not a financial advisor, so do please go and take your own risk with this. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, let's go and get into this. So as you can see, I'm now on my phone and let's go and continue with this. So let's go and open up Trust Wallet. Here we go. And here is my current coins. And as you can see at the bottom, we do not have the browser. Now this was actually recently removed. If we come here, it says that that browser removal on iOS version of Trust Wallet has sort of occurred basically. And if you come here, it's no longer here. And a lot of tutorials say you can still activate it. That is not true. Um, the browser has been fully removed. Apple has stopped Trust Wallet from having it. So there is a solution to this, so do not worry. And I will be showing you ex exactly that in this video. So all you want to do is go and open up Safari and then you want to go and search for PancakeSwap. So if you're familiar with the old Trust Wallet browser, as you'd know, you go and click on the browser and then go and search for PancakeSwap. So what you want to do is come to your phone's browser. So on an iPhone, it's gonna be Safari and you wanna go and search for PancakeSwap. So search for PancakeSwap and ensure you do go to the official website, which is pancakeswap.finance currently. Just make sure you do your own research. I'm not responsible at all for this. So make sure you come to the official PancakeSwap website and it's now loading. And all you want to do is go to the top left where you've got those three lines, click there, go and click on trade, and then go and click on exchange. Then all you want to do is go to the top right where it says connect wallet. Now this part can be a bit confusing, so make sure you watch very carefully. So of course, go and click on connect wallet. And then all you want to do is go and click on Wallet Connect or Trust Wallet. They basically do the same thing and they're both using Wallet Connect. In this case, I'm gonna go and click on Wallet Connect and it's gonna go and open up this and then you need to go and choose your preferred wallet. So I'm gonna go and click on Trust Wallet. Then it's gonna go and open up Trust Wallet. Now you need to be patient. As you can see in the bottom, it said connecting. That may take a few minutes to pop up. So just wait there and eventually it's gonna come through and then you wanna go and click on connect. And then as you can see, Wallet Connect, you can now go back to your browser. So swipe back across and there we go. It's now sort of the standard pancake swap um, sort of interface and we can go and use our BNB to go and buy a token, say, I could go and buy some safe moon or I could go and trade it. So I'll click I understand if you continue. I could go and trade my safe moon for some BNB if I wanted to. And that's literally it guys. It's pretty simple to use Wallet Connect and basically get around the issue of Trust Wallet removing the browser. However, do make sure you fully disconnect it. So I recommend coming back to your Trust Wallet when you're finished, going to settings, going to Wallet Connect, clicking here and going clicking disconnect and then come back to the PancakeSwap website click here and go and click disconnect here as well. Honestly, it's just good practice. And when you refresh, make sure it's gone and removed it. Um, I'll go and click disconnect. And yeah, that's gonna be literally it. And now you can see there are no connections. It's just a safe thing to do um, is to go remove any active connections. In my opinion, this is not financial advice. If you have found this video useful, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.